the Mike Bickle sexual abuse scandal that has risen to the surface has now unearthed even more darker and sinister sins that were happening behind closed doors at IHOP KC with staff members. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, there are a few names that I'm going to be mentioning as well as kind of giving backgrounds to. And then I want to end this video with some Bible verses that can help encourage us and point us to how we can look at this and how we can respond looking at the scriptures. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, these other sins that have kind of unearthed from the Mike Bickle situation, there's a guy named Kevin Proche and a woman named Missy Edwards. Now, they both are very well-known worship leaders, have been leading worship for different churches and traveling around the globe, leading people in worship for decades. And with that being said, there was a dark, sinister sin that they both were keeping secret for over seven years. And that was they were actually having sexual relations and Kevin Proche was having an affair with Misty while he was married to Shelly Bickle, who was Mike Bickle's sister, until they got divorced back in 2016. Now, this affair started in 2014 between Kevin Proche and Misty Edwards, and they continued to live in this dark, secret sin and continue to lead worship, continue to encourage people in the Lord, continue to put on a mask in front of everybody to seem as if they were holy and righteous and they, they were perfect before the sight of people. They were so focused on keeping the outside of the cup, as the scriptures say, clean, but inwardly they were rotten. Now, Kevin has a very much more darker, sinister background in the sense of back in the 90s, Kevin Proche did come out in the late 90s confessing to having multiple affairs with multiple different women when he was married to his first wife. And he admitted that he needed to step down from the ministry completely. But that was short-lived when in 1999 or 2000, he actually was leading worship for the brand new IHOP KC. Now, fast forward 2014, that's when the affair between him and Misty Edwards began. And the only reason why all of this has come out is because a guy named Brent Steno actually came out with evidence and proof that Misty Edwards came to him and admitted to having this affair. Eventually, Brent Steno went to other staff members of IHOP KC and told them about the affair and what was going on. And they said that they would actually take this to Mike Bickle, but they never did. And sadly, those staff members that said they would just kind of brushed it under the rug. And even Brent Steno was guilty of brushing it under the rug because this needed to be unearthed. But instead, it was hidden, was pushed away. Now, Misty Edwards did come out with a Facebook post clearing it up saying, hey, listen, I've never had a sexual relation. I've never been sexually abused by Mike Bickle. And the reason why she's coming out with this is because she did admit to a few people that there was somebody else in IHOP KC, a staff member, that she was having sexual relationships with as well. Now, apparently Kevin Proche knew who this man was and he was going to blackmail her with this if she didn't continue to see him and have sex with him. So there's a whole lot of mess that's coming from this. But people are speculating the person that she refuses to come out with on who else she was sleeping with is Mike Bickle, but that's just speculation. So what do we do with all this? Well, it made me think of a few Bible verses, guys. One found in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, when it says this, He who covers his sin will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them 
will have mercy. Guys, what Misty and Kevin need to do is just come clean with everything. Confess it before all people. Admit their sins to the, to, to the entire world. And forsake these sins. Go turn from these sins completely. Because without that, guys, there is no mercy for them. There is no grace for them. Continuing to hide and cover up these sins is not going to end well. And then in Luke chapter 8, verse 17, it says this, For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Guys, for seven years, Misty and Kevin fooled everybody. But eventually, it was revealed. Eventually, the truth came out. Light was shed on this dark, sinister sin that they were committing and indulging in. In fact, knowing that there's even more things that were going on with them abusing drugs and alcohol and having this affair, it breaks my heart. There's a lot of darkness that's being unraveled from IHOP KC due to the Mike Bickle situation. And we should just be praying that everything that's been pushed and hidden under the rug, every secret sin that's been pushed under the rug would be revealed in the light on this side of eternity and expose those who need to be exposed. Real quick, guys, if you enjoyed that video, would you please consider subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, sharing this video, getting it out to other people so everyone else can see how we can look at situations around us in a biblical way. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the encouraging words. And thank you for partnering and subscribing to BT Team Ministries.